Hello, geeks and gamers, and welcome back to Final Fantasy VII Remake. In the last episode, we explored an underground Shinra testing facility thing. Um, had a really badass boss fight. I really I enjoyed the boss fight. Really showed some good dynamic teamwork between Barrett and Tifa, and just how badass Tifa is. Um... And then beyond that, we discovered not only is Wedge alive and seemingly okay, but as well as that Shinra was using this testing facility to run experiments on humans, and the things that we were fighting were more than likely those humans. So, you know, not, not great. Other than that, uh, when I beat it, it did give Tifa these uh these mithril claws now obviously these are much more magic based um so i'm just gonna go ahead and equip them for now just to get the chi trap and then i will be going back to the metal knuckles it does have a new materia slot here so i guess we can give her... What does she already have equipped? She's got Ice, Fire, Chakra, First Strike, and Lightning. Eh, whatever. Give her healing. Oh, we're still playing as Barret. That's interesting. Seriously, take Barrett is strong as fuck. I'm gonna look around for the others. He made it, didn't he? They could still be alive. We literally saw them die. I saw them both at the pillar. Jesse and Biggs. Oh good, he's... How bad they were hurt. He's finally uh, saying it rather than I'm kind of sorry, tiptoeing. But... Don't. They've returned to the planet. They... They were supposed to return to us. Yeah, well... Stuff like that happens in battle, man. It's unfortunate. It's really sad. But, uh... But if we stop now, they'll never let us live it down. <clears throat> so, we carry that weight. Dude, you are carrying enough weight right now. He is, he's a pretty big man. See, that's interesting. See, I'm hoping enough, that there is enough SP that you get through the main story to be able to upgrade everything fully, but that's kind of seeming like maybe not. I'm sorry. I truly am. We had no other place to go, and... I would never leave a wounded man out on the street. Elmira, I know what you said, but you have to let us go after Aerith. Not this again. We found an underground Shinra lab where they've done human testing. This wasn't the first time. She doesn't have to let you do anything, I dude. Know just people, go. And I know they're never going to let Aerith go. She's the last living ancient on the planet. Think about what that means to Shinra scientists. 
Especially to that son of a bitch, Hojo. We're all just numbers and meat Enough. to him. But... Please. I need some time to think. Like you don't... You don't You've need her permission. have a long day. Why don't you go upstairs and get some rest? I mean, I know it's like a respect thing. Let's let's respect Elmira's wishes, but respect when it comes to somebody's safety. Uh, safety takes precedence. Don't know where I'm supposed to go. Maybe over there? Yeah, I think I see her sitting over there. Yeah. Well, now, question is, is it actually Aerith? She'll be like, oh, they let me come back briefly just to get some flowers or some shit. How is this? Is this a dream? Maybe. You tell me. You okay? Don't I look it? I used to live in the Shinra building, back when I was really little. Hmm. Your mom told us. Right. So it kind of feels like I've gone back to my childhood home, you know? Honestly, it's not that bad. So what? You want to stay? Come on, Cloud. Don't be silly. <laughs> no. Your mom's really worried. Said it's too. not that bad. It's still bad. Hmm? Two? So you're worried about me? Uh, of course I am. I'm sorry about that. Really. Is that... Everyone dies eventually. I suppose. So we need to make the most of the time we have. To live our lives the way we want to live. Every minute, every moment matters. I'll remember that. Good. So... You need to embrace this moment, right? <laughs> I'm glad I met you, Cloud. I really am. I'm grateful for all the words we've shared, for all the moments and the memories. You've made me more happy than you know. Oh. And I'll always cherish what you've given me. But... But whatever happens, you can't fall in love with me. He's like, whoa, whoa, you're making a lot of assumptions. Even if you think you have, it's not real.
Do I get a say in all this? It's almost morning. Time to go. I'm coming for you. Not quite yet. Oh, you mean to rescue her? If that's what you want. Thank you. You've done more for us than we deserve. I won't forget this. If you ever need anything, all you gotta do is holler. Happy to help out, however I can. Elmira. I've been thinking about what you said. She's calling out to me. I can feel it. We all can. So please. I mean... I feel like that definitely She's was Aerith communicating through the live her. stream. Mm -hmm. I always knew it was coming. Knew that one day I'd have to say goodbye to my baby girl. But not yet. <clears throat> Please, bring her back to me. Hmm. Are you going? Um, I'm sorry, honey. I wish I didn't have to. You don't. I wish Actually, I could be with you stay there the with your daughter. I really do. But if I stay here, I can't fight out there. Okay. Some bad people are trying to hurt the planet. And Daddy, Daddy and his friends are trying to stop those bad people. The slums, your friends, the whole planet. It's Daddy's job to protect it. Hmm? <sighs> and if you end up dying and leaving Marlene with no one, what then? Hmm. And that's why I've got to go. You remember that nice girl who came to find you? Well, now we have to go find her. And when we bring her home, you need to say thank you, okay? Okay. That girl, she was kind of... <sighs> what? Nothing. You should help her. We will. You'll come back, right? Of course, I promise. <sighs> okay, you can go. <clears throat> like, I get what he said. And I don't necessarily disagree, but... Nothing would tear me away from my daughter. I'm sorry. Especially if it She's puts me, me in the harm way. Alright. Time to get some payback. Don't forget why we're doing this. I know, I know. To rescue Aerith. So, how are we supposed to get topside? With everything that's happened, the trains still aren't running. Well, we could walk along the tracks. The city's on high alert. All the roads and public transit have probably been locked down by now. So what's the plan then? You know another way up? No, but I think I know someone who might. You mean Corneo? Ugh. What is that one that we just picked up? Pedometer? Is that what it said? Yes. Pedometer. Okay. That's interesting. Shit. I want to go 
down. I mean, I guess. Let's, let's see what happens. When I, uh, take a certain amount of steps with this pedometer on. You're really gonna make us go talk to Corneo again, huh? All right, game. My fellow grounders, listen Jesus. up, because boy, do I have some Not news for you. Not gonna work anytime soon, so might as well break. So after bombing reactors one and five. What do the eco-terrorists do? They go for the trifecta and take out Mako Reactor 7. Another attack by amateurs who don't care about collateral damage. The sky is falling and Avalanche is to blame. But wait! Did you know Why Ty is the Kyrie one here just look like Tifa? For all their claims about fighting for the slums, they're nothing more than pawns of Wutai. Puppets dancing to the tune of their foreign masters. And that's the truth. Topside news delivered straight to your ears. That'll be five gil. Five gil. Come on. Damn, man. Knew we couldn't trust Wu Tai to leave us alone. It's the reactors. They want them. We got them. Does this mean there'll what? be another war? After what they've done, what choice do we have? Five gil apiece. Cough it up. The truth ain't free, you know. <sighs> we ain't no damn pawns of Wu Tai. I couldn't care less about the rest, but that shit. <sighs> <sighs> No one will listen to us. There's no point in even trying. I'm sorry. Hey. Hey, Tifa, listen. There's no room in this for regrets or what-ifs or any of that. All we can do is keep moving forward, keep following this path we chose. Wherever, so we can say we did all we could. I know. But right now, instead of looking forward, you need to look around. Everyone here is terrified. So I'm asking you, don't. The collapse of the plate means that many people in the slums are in desperate need of assistance. Once the party enters the Shinra building, they will no longer be able to help anyone in need. Therefore, try to help as many people as possible before entering Shinra HQ. I know we're short on time, Meaning but Shinra let's try HQ to help out wherever we can. And now, the is definitely the going to be the end. How far could they? Oh, Cloud. Have you seen the kids around by any chance? I haven't seen them since they left to do their patrols. I knew I should have told them to stay inside today. If you do happen to run into them somewhere, could you tell them to come back right away? I can describe them if it'd help. Don't worry. I'll know. Just stay calm and wait here. You never they know. Look like they might come back kids. on your own. Okay? They look like normal people, uh, just shorter. Yes. Of course. Thank you so very much. Ooh, I can go back here now again. See if my uh, wealth of Moogle medals will afford me anything that is worth it. Hello. Welcome, Koopo. Okay. Steel pincers. I will take it. And now I have no mega mega moodles. I have no mega moodles. Though I do want some of these other things as well. Enter the battle with the toad status effect. Why would I want that? That would be pretty good. I 
Why is there like a lot of this like random stuff? Hmm. Have a merry Moogle day, Koopa. So like normally you can see on the map. Well, let's. Oh, oh, oh my God! That opened up a lot. So it looks like I've got to help her first, and then I'll open up others. Holy shit. Well, I think since yesterday's episode ran long, that I'm going to go ahead and end this episode off just a bit early. And the next episode, we are going to get started with this heap of side quests. So... If you did enjoy today's episode, as always, be sure to do those things that we YouTubers ask you to do. And until next time, game on.